Let's capture the case of the red swamp crayfish, an exotic creature that is rather large and more than a little threatening. Red swamp crayfish, which grow from 4 to 7 inches in length, are dark red with bright red raised spots on their claws and a wedge-shaped tail. They compete with native crayfish, reducing the amount of food and habitat for other aquatic life. They live in deep underground holes that weaken shorelines and are a threat to storm ponds, levees, and dams. They are also an agent for the crayfish plague fungus, a disease that can kill native crayfish within weeks. Red swamp crayfish are native to the southern United States, specifically the Gulf Coast area, from Florida to Mexico, including states like Alabama, Louisiana, and Mississippi. In fact, they're sometimes called Louisiana crawfish or crawdads. They live in a variety of freshwater habitats, including rivers, streams, lakes, and ponds. While they usually spread their way along connected waterways, they have been known to crawl for several miles at night and during wet weather. In the summer of 2009, they found their way into Wisconsin, to a place called Germantown a little community about 25 miles northwest of Milwaukee. Citizens were concerned when they saw what they described as small lobsters crawling across their lawns at dusk. Imagine a normal subdivision around this little man-made lake, a kidney bean-shaped pond filled with these creepy crawling creatures that were coming into their garages and scaring their cats and dogs. Cats and dogs! People were clearly upset. The Wisconsin DNR, Department of Natural Resources, was called in, and experts identified these uninvited visitors as red swamp crayfish. Look at the size of this jar. This was actually one of the smallest. It was given to me by Jake Vanderzaden, whose lab students at the University of Wisconsin-Madison conducted extensive trapping of these little lobsters of doom. Jake plays the character of the insanely intelligent Dr. Troy Brinker, the resident mad scientist in my second Super Uber book, The Quest of the Blue Crew. Jake said he was not surprised at the fear these creepy creatures struck in that neighborhood. Red Swamp Crayfish are super aggressive, super mean, and super destructive too. Because they compete with native crayfish and other species for food and habitat, they can lead to serious declines in native aquatic wildlife. Unlike most crayfish, which thrive on plants, red swamp crayfish are known to eat the eggs of fish, as well as snails, tadpoles, and small fish. Red swamp crayfish have a horrible record as invaders, not only in North America, but also in China, Africa, and parts of Europe. For example, they have done a lot of damage in the rice fields in Asia. In Wisconsin, scientists were so concerned the red swamp crayfish might spread to other bodies of water and eventually find their way into nearby Lake Michigan, they had to do something drastic. They decided they had to kill them right there, with a chemical. One November morning, they pumped 4,000 gallons of bleach into the five-acre lake. This is a photo from the actual event. The bleach killed all the fish, everything in sight, but not them. They were quite surprised too. They figured what probably happened is they smelled danger. They smelled the bleach and then buried themselves for protection. Red swamp crayfish can dig deep burrows into the banks to seek cover, so it took several treatments before they could be certain that they were gone. Of course, they couldn't be positively certain, so the scientists continued to return every summer to make sure they did not return. And they're still not sure how they showed up there in the first place. Maybe a classroom leased them after a science project was completed. Maybe someone got tired of their pet. The same thing happened a few years later in Michigan, when the red swamp crayfish showed up out of the blue, not in one spot, but three locations, in Vicksburg, which is near Kalamazoo, and the eastern side of the state, north of Detroit, in the cities of Novi and Farmington Hills. In the Novi Pond, they captured 3,000 red swamp crayfish alone. A year later, Canadian border officials stopped a truck carrying 2,000 pounds. That's a ton. 
of live red swamp crayfish trying to enter the country via the Blue Water Bridge that connects the U.S. and Canada. To make matters worse, researchers suspect red swamp crayfish also help the spread of mosquitoes because they frighten away dragonfly nymphs that would normally devour mosquito larvae. That really bites. Red swamp crayfish, good eating, but for scientists, they leave a bad taste. I hope you've enjoyed what I've shared about red swamp crayfish. Please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel to follow more cases of invasive species. And as always, thanks for watching.